to, uh, you know, it's causing us to um, focus on other other brands. So um, a lot of those brands now are trying to fill in that space. Even Amazon's supposed to be sending out, you know, a um, you know some kind of toy catalog for the holidays. So um, you know, there's a lot of good stuff, and we're losing a lot of stuff. So. Um, you know, there's a lot going on is what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. And, um, you know, you can get lost, you know, a lot of people, you know, talk about, you know, getting overwhelmed with tools like tactical arbitrage and, you know, even our sourcing secrets sometimes because, you know, there's just so much information out there. So, um, you know, what we're going to try and do tonight is kind of uh, condense that information and at least share what we're doing. Um, and, you know, what we're going to, what we do is, you know, we, we focus on, you know, obviously we're making lists of everything we need and, you know, no matter what group, no matter what webinars you've watched, you know, those, um, those guys I'm sure are telling you, you know, you need to make a list, you need to be in a group, you need to, um, you know, decide what you want and know what you need before going into it. So, um, you know, uh, in a little bit, I'm going to, we're going to talk about what stores we're going to source at. Um, right now there's 21 stores that are Black Friday deals are already uh, live and you can go buy them right now when this webinar is over, you know, go to those stores and start sourcing because there's just, um, you know, there's, there's that stuff. And then stores like Walmart are going to be starting tomorrow, Wednesday, if you're watching the replay tomorrow at 10 PM, uh, even some of their door busters are going to be uh, going to be available. So um, I know I'm probably buying a new TV and a projector and some other stuff from Walmart if I can. Uh, and all that stuff's available online now. You know, I'm not going to be reselling any of that stuff, but, you know, my wife's building a new game room. So, um, you know, she wants all that stuff. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing, and I'm going to let Jason talk to you about a few um, a few of his tips, but um, I think the biggest thing you need to do is, uh, you know, not only make a list, but you need to remember that um, what you see on TV is not what, you know, I walk into and not what you have to walk into. Um, I rarely, and I'm not, I don't wait in lines except to check out. So uh, I'm not going to be there waiting for everybody to, um, I'm not fighting with people over a TV. Like the things that are, are the door buster, the things that you see everybody arguing and fighting and trying to get and breaking into the store when the door opens and people getting trampled, that's not the stuff that I want. That's not the stuff that you, uh, you may want for yourself personally. But if you're buying to resell, you're not buying the whatever it is, 68-inch TV or, you know, the laptops or, you know, the discounted iPads and a cell phone. Those are the top, you know, like the top four things that, that people are waiting in line for. You know, if I stroll into Walmart, which I'm going to do an hour after the sale starts, when that first, you know, that first load of people are already checking out and pulling out of their car and I just stroll into, you know, a nice parking spot um, and then I walk in there and get the stuff I want and, you know, wait in line for an hour to check out, um, you know, that stuff is going to be, you know, still going to be there. You know, the pallets of clothes and the DVDs and CDs, video games, all that stuff that you, you know, when you go and look at those, those lists, you're going to see that all that stuff is, um, all that stuff's still going to be there. There's a whole pallet. While people are fighting for TVs, I'm going to walk over and like pick out all the stuff that I want. You know, those, those Sharpie sets that are, Ten dollars for the thirty sharpies that that sell like crazy because it's a Black Friday exclusive. You won't ever see it again during the year, and they're different every single year, and they sell very well. Um, you know, all that stuff's going to be still there because everybody's fighting on, on the other stuff. And I'm going to go to that Walmart, and then we're going to go to another Walmart, another Walmart, and then you know we can go to Target, and we'll go through all the opening times uh, for that because um, when I get up on Thursday morning, I'm going to probably be going to uh, some stores as well, because it's seven o'clock, um, seven in the morning. Um, at seven in the morning, we don't have, um, you know, there's not a lot of people going on at seven in the morning. Um, but you know, there are stores like big lots that open at seven at AM on Thursday. And, uh, so we're going to talk about all those. And, and I'm going to tell you, you know, I still spend time with my family. I do my, you know, whole shopping, uh, thing in the morning I do it at night and I'm going to be out all night and I'm going to be out all you know day Friday and Saturday and do do all that sourcing stuff but 
uh, we're going to have, um, you know, I have plenty of time for my family when, when I need it. Cause my family does come first, but, um, you know, it's very easy to plan around that. You know, everybody knows that that's what people are interested in. And, um, you know, they don't set their opening times in the middle of when people are usually having dinner. So, um, uh, so with that, um, I'm gonna let Jason talk to you for a couple minutes and give you his, um, his big tips for, uh, you know, for Black Friday shopping. And then we'll start going over uh, where I actually uh, am gonna be going to and when. What's up, guys? So basically what I do is, you know, like Sean said, you always want to make sure you have a list. You know, you don't want to walk into a store blind. Uh, you know, when you're going into these stores, you like you're going to be able to go, like like Sean said, we I live in Orlando and he lives very close to me. So th we have plenty of stores, and I'm sure most of you guys will too. You can hit several of the same stores all at the same time. Like if you go to Target or Walmart, you're going to be able to go and find those same items. You can walk right in and grab those things but you don't want to walk into those stores blind. They're, the stores are going to be super busy, super packed. You want to get in, get out, so you can go, to, go hit other stores. Even if you only have one Target or one Walmart, you know, like Sean said, there's 21 different ads that you can go and hit different stores. Even if you do one store, that's 21 different stores. You're not going to hit all those stores in one day. Right. But, um, sorry, I just want to jump in there. Uh, there's 21 stores that they're Black Friday ads. You can buy them online right now. Um, there's actually about 60 stores that leak. So, I mean, if I said that, I, I just don't want people to say no, that. I don't think you did. There's only 21 stores. There's, there's actually 60 store ads that leak. So whatever little store you, you know, the chain you have, if you're in a small town, you know, you got Blaine's Farm and Fleet or his brother Fleet and Farm, um, you know, they still have Black Friday ads. So there's going to be plenty of stuff. And don't worry about, you know, the exact stores I talk about. Um, because, you know, in our group, we have all the ads that have leaked, all the, the holiday toy books, all that stuff um, available. So you don't have to be Googling and searching. And um, we also break them down too. We have a little paid product, but, um, you know, I'm not going to show that down your throat. So, um, so yeah, sorry about that. Go ahead, Jason. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, go, you know, have a list together. You want to go in there, get in, get out. You want to be able to get as much stuff as you possibly can. Um, you will you know, using these lists that Sean's going to show you, uh, there's, uh, you're not going to be able to spend enough money. Like you're not going to have enough money. If you only have 500 bucks or if you have $50,000, there's more than enough stuff to buy. And if you worry about like people, if more worried about, uh, you know, a hundred sellers or this, the biggest thing you want to do is get in there get the stuff and get it listed as quick as possible. You, the, the advantage of getting that stuff in faster is being the first to sell. Uh, you can usually keep your price higher with this stuff. You know, most of the people are going to come in and try to lowball that price. You don't have to worry about that stuff, this stuff. Um, use the charts. Use things like Keepa. Like, use things that are, like, past history. Uh, you can – most of the stuff that you're going to see, you're going to see charts from last year, things like that. Um, it's just making sure that you're – prepared when you walk into those stores. You know, you don't want to walk in these stores blind. That's the biggest takeaways. Sorry, I was muted. Um, yeah, definitely that. And um, the other big thing is if you can work as a team, it's going to make things so much easier and so much faster because um, driving around, uh, forget about shopping carts. I mean, when you get there, there probably aren't even going to be any shopping carts. But if there are, I mean, you can't get them down the aisles. You can't, you can't get from one side of an aisle to another because if you've ever been to a Walmart at, you know, at midnight, they have those pallets blocking the road. If you haven't done Black Friday, it's, it's going to be ridiculous. Imagine, you know, a thousand people in the store while you're, um, you know, if you've ever been to Walmart, as I said, at like midnight, when they have those pallets where you can't even walk in between them and the center of every aisle is filled, um, that's what's going on there. So, um, you know, you're going to have um, a lot of that, um, not only the people, but they have the aisles blocked because, you know, you imagine everything. I mean, I'm sure you've all seen, if you're in the group, the uh, all the Black Friday ads that have leaked. If you look at Walmart or Target or any of those, almost everything is in two categories, toys and electronics. So, 
Um, you know, if it's video games or, you know, CDs, DVDs, you know, the TVs, um, all that stuff that everybody wants, you know, could you imagine if everybody, you know, was rushing to the electronics department or the toys department? So what most Walmarts do is they, uh, they're going to block off all of, um, the things that people aren't really there for Black Friday for. So you have to think electronic, um, not electronics, um, groceries, health, beauty, you know, um, housewares. Um, they put caution tape up. They have queue lines going up and down those aisles um, to get to those door busters. So um, you need to be prepared. You need to get a map for your individual store um, and you need to know where what you're looking for is going to be at. Um, so what ends up happening there? You're is, gated for that stuff too. Like don't go in there looking for things that you're gated for. Right. Um, and you know, you should be going through each ad that you're looking for now today. So I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to my uh, Black Friday preview, but what we have in there and I'll show it to you later on. Um, and you don't need, you don't need this. If you have 500 bucks to spend, do not pay me $79 and, you know, where I take a uh, one sixth of what you have to spend, you know, go in there and break that down those ads yourself. But what we've done is we took the top ads. There's going to be about 16 ads um, by Thanksgiving morning. Um, we have like, I think 13 or 14 of them done. Um, but we take the ads and I'm going to use JC Penney's as an example. There's almost 1200 items. Um, there's 1200 pieces to the JC Penney ad. So what that means is, um, you know, it may say all Nike shoes, 10% off. So that's like one thing, you know, and, you know, there's all kinds of clothes and, and shoes and, you know, electronics and all that. So um, just that, just JCPenney's, we take each thing in that ad and we compare it to Amazon. We go and find that product on Amazon and we get the prices and the ROI and the rank and the 30 day and 90 day ranks and Everything you need to, you know, the link to Amazon, there's no way to get that out of a, you know, print ad. There's no UPC codes, none of that. So we find each one of those items on Amazon if it's available. If it's not there, we find the closest match to it. So um, like I was saying, I think before we started, there's, um, there's this Sharpie set. They give you 30 Sharpies. Um, they give you some like cardstock, very heavy things you can color and the box is a really cool design and they sell them for 10 bucks and every year it's a different one and it's an, an exclusive to Walmart. They only sell them at Walmart. Each store gets a pallet of them. When they're gone, they're gone and, and that's it and they never make them again and they're only sold there and they're only sold on Black Friday. So when you get those... Um, when you get those, um, you're not going to be able to find that on Amazon. Somebody has to create that listing, but we can look at last year's and see how well it sold. Because I buy a bunch of them and I sell them every year. You know, it's it's a good, you know, it, it, it's a great seller. You know, 30, 40, sometimes they even get up to 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, but what, um, but there's nothing, if we look on Amazon for it, it doesn't exist because it's only an ad right now. Nobody in the world has, ever, has bought one yet. Um, so we find the closest matches if it doesn't exist. And if there's no match, we tell you that. But it's a very, it's a handful out of, you know, hundreds of items. There's only maybe a few that are, that we, ju there's just nothing that matches to it. So um, we find you the closest matches. We find the exact match in the most of the cases. Um, and you have that all in a spreadsheet. You can sort by ROI, sort by rank, sort, you know, whatever you want. And um, we break that down for all the biggest and best stores, you know, um, Let's see, we have Wal Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, um, you know, Michaels, Costco, Dollar General, Costco, you know, all the stores that, you know, we source that, that you're going to source that. We break all that down. We show you all the Black Friday ads. So you can go and search for them, obviously, but they're all in one place. We show you how to set up the, find uh, a map of your own Walmart store. We have all the toy, um, the toy places. And most importantly, we show you the opening and closing times on Thursday and Friday for basically every store. I think we got about a hundred stores in there now um, with all the time. So you can make your list, you can do it all in one place. But again, you know, if you only have a few hundred bucks to spend, you know, go figure that stuff out on your own, um, you know, and take the advice we're giving you because 
uh, don't spend all your money on training. I mean, that's uh, when people get to me a lot of the times for help. They, you know, they spend the majority of their money training, and then they have no money to buy stuff. So, spend the money. If you have the money, it's a great opportunity. If you don't have the money, um, you know, don't waste it on me. Just put in some time and, and get the stuff done. So, um, hey, we're having somebody ask about where the list is. All right, I'll post that um, in the chat. Um, you can go to blackfridaypro.us and you get all the info on that there. Um, we'll send out an email with the link to the Facebook group um, where we also post Black Friday ads. Obviously, we don't have any of the breakdowns that's exclusive for our users. Um, Barry, we put that in the chat for you, blackfridaypro.us. Okay, now let's get back to um, you know the important stuff. Um, so um, the big thing uh, to talk about is right now there's 21 stores that I know of that you can, um, you can buy from. Um, now their Black Friday ads are live. This isn't like a pre-Black Friday sale. Everything that's in the Black Friday ad, except for a few doorbusters, are available to buy right now. Um, I'm going to read this list off to you, but I'm going to send you everything that we talk about. I'm going to send in the email for the replay so you um, so you don't miss any of this stuff. Um, so Kohl's, which we have a breakdown list for, and uh, TJ Maxx, we have one as well. So Kohl's has almost 800 items, uh, and TJ Maxx has almost 1,200 items. Those are the two biggest uh, Black Friday ads out of, out of the 60 or so that have been released. So um, Kohl's, Newegg, Lenovo, there's several computer stores who are doing this, Shopco, um, Shoes.com, eBay has a weird Black Friday thing going. They have pre-Black Friday, a Black Friday, and a Cyber Monday ad, and they're for specific items. Like one of them had, I think, 17 items on sale. Like nothing, I mean, they seem like good good deals if somebody needed that, but it, it was just a weird thing to me. But um, Amazon has what they call the Black Friday week um, so the sale started yesterday. Um, and if you need anything like Amazon type products, so we're talking like Kindles, Kindle Fire, um, the Echo Dots and Echo, you know, all those um, devices where they listen to every word you say for the rest of your life. Uh, if you need any of that kind of stuff, then now's the time to go by. You can just go to Amazon and um, you'll see all of that stuff. I think I can... Yeah, um, I'm going to post the link. I'll post the link in the chat here. But if you need any of that kind of stuff from Amazon, you can go there. There is an affiliate link in there, but it's not mine. So, um, yeah. Um, and then uh, Lord & Taylor, their Black Friday sale, and they their ad just leaked yesterday. I really haven't had time to go look in that. that they have a lot of high-end stuff. I usually can't find anything to resell there. Um, T-Mobile has a lot of good deals. Uh, their Black Friday ad um, that – doesn't come out till Thursday, but apparently the sale's already live. Um, uh, music and arts is a is a if you're into the music stuff, a lot of they got a lot of books, a lot of um, weird stuff uh, there as far as music and um, a lot mostly music related. And then Olympia Sports, Bowflex, uh, Gander Outdoors, which used to be Gander Mountain, um, Dell, Think Geek has a ton of awesome toys, AEO, Joseph A. Bank, Belk. Um, and as I said, J.C. Penney's Levi's in the children's place. Um, if you resell clothes for kids, um, boys, girls, toddlers, baby, any of that stuff, um, children's place has some huge, um, some huge deals going on. Um, and then, um, you know, all that stuff is live right now. So there's about 60 ads, but, um, you know, 21 of them is live. Um, and, you can start going and hitting those up and then um, those are going to be the same stuff you can find in the store. So you don't have to go to those stores and order. Most of them either have free shipping or free shipping if you spend about 50 bucks. So um, we've been buying stuff today and we're going to buy stuff all the way through until tom tomorrow. But tomorrow night, if you're a Walmart buyer and almost every item is going to start at 10 o'clock. If you want the door busters, um, like the TVs and if you want any of that like stuff or I can't see anything that would be resold. But um, if you want any of that stuff for you personally, then um, at 10 
um, then you want to be there right when it starts because that stuff will sell out. Um, I, I have no idea how much they have, hundreds, sometimes thousands of them, but um, you'll be able to get those uh, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern time at Walmart. And that's where we're going to start off at. Um, and then um, there's a lot of stuff that's going to start um, Wednesday. Um, and uh, you can see in their ads, which we post links to every every ad in the Facebook group, but um, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get any of those. Um, um, and we'll post the link. Um, give me. Um, but you know, the big question is where are we going to start sourcing at on, on Thursday, right? Um, so everybody has a different schedule, and I don't expect you to do you know what I'm going to do, but all we can do is share uh, what we're doing. And um, on Thursday morning, Thanksgiving morning, now we go and we start with um, with big lots and Dollar General. There's a few things at each one of those. And uh, Big Lots historically have had a ton of stuff. So um, we're going to get, we get up obviously pretty early and uh, we're going to hit Big Lots and we're going to hit Dollar General. There's a ton of Dollar Generals around me. So um, I'm sure you'll figure out what we're buying, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to share, I'm not going to tell you exactly what, um, what we're buying personally. Um, but uh, you know, the Big Lots ad is not very big and neither is Dollar General. So go and check those out. And um, they open at seven. They're going to be open all day on Black Friday. So um, let's see. Uh, so Dollar General is open at, um, is at 7 a.m. And then they're going to be open all the way till 10 p.m. on Thursday. By 10 p.m., I'm not even going to be worried about them because there's so much other stuff. So um, I usually am going to hit um, Big Lots first. Uh, there's only one Big Lots anywhere near me. Um, I have to go into another city to even hit anymore. So um, I'm going to go there first, and then there's a few Dollar Generals. They open at 7. Um, and then, you know, I don't, I've never really gone to them for Black Friday. This is new actually for us because there's just so many stores to hit. Um, but then from there, we're going to hit uh, Family Dollar. They open at eight. I, I can't see that they're going to have a lot of people there waiting in line at, um, you know, at seven in the morning. Um, but when we used to do Sears, they, you know, they would have like 50 people there when we were buying, uh, you know, tools from them when they had all, when they were still exclusive for craftsmen, but um, so, you know, we're going to hit, um, we're going to hit those three stores in the morning and then I'm not going to worry about anything except shopping online until, um, until after we, um, you know, do our family Thanksgiving thing. And then it's going to be on the GameStop. Now GameStop, um, if you resell video games, they have a lot of amazing deals. Uh, there's going to be some stuff for the Switch that um, Switch stuff seems to never go on sale. Even when you see an ad for it, it's just an advertisement at the regular price. So they've got a lot of stuff that's going to be like 20, 30% off uh, on Switch games. And um, there's a lot of stuff that's going to have huge, huge deals if you're doing video games. And um, they start at four. Now they also have, if you're a Funko seller, the Funko Pops, any of that stuff, um, they have a Funko Pop uh, Black Friday exclusive. There's a box and it has a pop that's only sold in these boxes and they have a limited amount. Um, you know, so we usually get a lot of those. We get, you know, as many as we can. I'm going to buy some at the first store and I'm going to open them and see what's inside. And, and we'll, um, you know, I'll see, you know, how much of a call there really is for that. Um, and we're going to, we're going to hit them up. Um, you know, we're probably going to hit a few GameStop stores. So then um, from there we have, um, we have five below six o'clock is like the most popular time for, um, for doing this stuff. So um, from, sorry for the store is opening. Uh, so at, um, so 6 p.m., you've got Walmart, you have Target, you have Five Below, um, you know, all the big stores. Michael still opens at 6. 
Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of stores that are going to open in the middle, stores that I don't have in my area or stores I don't really worry about. Um, like Stage opens at 2, Old Navy opens at 3, Macy's opens at 5, um, Kohl's opens at 5 as well, but I usually am not hitting them till, you know, super late. Um, Kohl's is one of the stores that are actually staying open 24 hours or whatever it is. They open at 5, and they're going to be open all night, and then they're going to be open all day on fr- on actual Black Friday as well. And then I think they they close at their whatever that store's regular closing time is. So um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. Oh, um, Dick's as well, um, and Boscov's if you have those um, in your area are all opening um, at um, at six. Uh, Bell's. Um, Sorry, we really don't have bells. We have some bells outlets here, and it's mostly closing. A lot of people do good there, but we really, um, really don't. And then I know somebody mentioned Best Buy. They're going to open at 5. Um, but remember, a lot of these stores are closing. So not only do you have to worry about the opening times this year, you're going to have to worry about um, what time they close. Like Cabela's closes at 6 p.m., uh, which I just think is so weird. But um, – if you have Cabela's, we don't. Um, they open at eight in the morning. They're going to close at six on Thursday, and then they open again at five, uh, five the next day. Um, and uh, you know, as well as like Big Lots and even Target this year is closing um, on Black Friday. So you got to worry about those times. Usually, I'm still hitting at Targets and uh, the Targets and Toys R Us and all that at two, three in the morning. But um, that's not going to work this year. I think. Uh, I don't have a specific time for Target, but they close, I believe they're going to close at one most stores. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to worry if you, you know, if you're hitting those stores at six, you know, you may only have a four or five hour window until they start closing again. And then it's going to be the next day. So um, if you're hitting Kohl's, I would wait till, I mean, personally, unless there's something you think is going to sell out, um, I'm going to be waiting till like one or two in the morning to go there. Um, just because it's so big lines at, at ours, uh, they'll be wrapped around the whole inside of the store. The whole store is basically a checkout line. You get in line and you work your way around the whole store. Uh, but they're not closing where, um, you know, Walmarts and uh, Targets are. Um, uh, actually, Walmart, I f- most stores aren't, aren't closing. So um, you got to... This year, you're having to check individual stores. In the past, they all just stood open. Um, but yeah, Target closes at midnight, opens at 6 a.m. again. Um, and there's a ton of stores that have just decided not to open, um, which is just so hard to believe. But um, True Value, Tractor Supply, TJ Maxx, Staples, Sportsman Warehouse, Sierra Trading Post, Sam's Club, Sam Ash, uh, REI, Pet Mart, Petco, Pet Boys, Patagonia, uh, Office Depot and Office Max, Northern Tool, Nordstrom, Mills Fleet and Farm, and I think Blaine's Farm and Fleet too. They're actually brothers who don't like each other. Um, they're all going to be closed at. Um, they're all going to be closed on on Thursday. Um, Menards, Marshalls, Lowe's. Uh, let's see what else. Joanne Fabric, Home Goods, Home Depot. Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, Half, Pipe, Half Price Books, H&M, Gadar Center, Fry's, Finish Line, DSW, Dillard's, Creighton Barrel, Costco, BJ's, Bed Bath & Beyond, I'm almost done, Barnes & Noble, the Apple Store, Ace Hardware, and AAFES, if you have those, I've never heard of them, until so this Black Friday. They're all going to be closed on Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, a lot of people complain about them being open, spending time with their family. Obviously, from a business aspect, um, I would prefer as many stores to be as closed as possible because then I don't have to worry about them. You know, I can go and source from them on Friday and I can focus on, and I, I won't be spread as thin uh, because you're going to have all those other stores uh, that you can be focusing on. So, yeah, a lot of info there. Um, do we have a list of the stores that um, that state the timing of the online sales? Um, no, unfortunately, we don't because, uh, you know, the problem there is they haven't really told anybody that it wasn't in their ads. They kind of 
are just like sending out messages saying, hey, our Black Friday deal is live now. You can come buy everything, um, you know, and there was like no advance notice. I'm sure they're going to be next year. You know, we'll, you know, it's kind of a new thing where, you know, hey, Wednesday night you can start doing your, you know, buying online. Tuesday, Monday, um, some stores are doing it. So um, I do know, obviously, the ones that are live right now, and I, um, I just told everybody, and we'll post that into the Facebook group. Um, I think we have that info, but, um, you know, it's kind of a new development. Um, I'm going to post the link right now into the chat. Um, so this link is to join the Facebook group. It's a free group. It's small. I believe there's only about 200 people in there maybe a little more because uh, they keep joining today, obviously. So um, there's a lot of, um, you know, we post all the ads there. We post when, you know, they're letting people go live. We do, I'm doing Facebook lives every day to Black Friday, um, you know, with all the new info that we're getting, um, obviously from all the sources. And you can go find this. You can go to BF ads and whatever it's called, Black Friday leaks and blackfriday.com, you know, there's hundreds of sites, but, you know, this site has this stuff, this site has this stuff. We kind of have a whole team that's focused on Black Friday for, you know, about two months. So, um, you know, we get every bit of information and we, we share it in there with you guys. So, hundreds and uh, hundreds and hundreds of things. Right. So you don't have to go, you know, and spend your time searching for all that stuff. Um, you know, we just posted in there for you. So um, we're already paying attention to it. Um, so do we have a list of the timing? Do we have, okay, so I think we answered those questions. So, um, so um, any other questions before I move on uh, from that? Because, um, you know, uh, as I said, there's already about 60 ads leak, you know, there's, you know, a hundred or more stores that, you know, are going to be participating in, in Black Friday, you know, at least, you know, uh, national changes on a national level. So there's a ton, um, a ton of good stuff. So um, I'm going to share my screen here real quick and just show you um, a little bit of what we've done for you guys. So just do this, share. Okay, you can see that, Jason? Yep, you're good. Okay, so, um, you know, I have a team that I kind of pull off of other projects and um, we're basically focused on Black Friday. Obviously, we spend a lot of money on Black Friday and, uh, you know, starting a year or two ago, we kind of decided to branch out from that and, um, you know, start creating this content and sharing it with, um, with you guys. So uh, because I'm able to sell this now, I actually have about a dozen people that um, their whole job for two months is nothing but, um, but Black Friday. So we're able to get so much more great data. Um, you know, and the first thing, um, we give you the ads that we did last year so you can kind of, um, Ruth, if you have a question, you can just put it in the chat or hit the Q&A button. Um, we give you all the ads that we broke down last year so you can kind of compare those to this year. Um, and then, uh, we have all the holiday toy books. So um, this is a great source of information. This is not the Black Friday ads. It's not what, you know, we're going to buy from. But if you look at any of these, you know, even the top Amazon top 100 toy list, the, you know, we got Target's top toy list, Walmart's top rated by kids toy list. These are the items that they're going to be running ads on TV, newspaper ads. Every ad's going to have something about these toys in it. So these are like the holiday books, toy books, Christmas books, whatever, you know, they're calling them um, for all of these stores. And again, you can go find these in other places. We don't, we haven't done anything to them. Um, but, you know, I look at every one of these very, very carefully. Um, and, I, you know, I make a lot of my buying decisions for the next several months, uh, starting about, uh, you know, the beginning of September um, for the following months based on, what they're going to be pushing because if they're pushing these kids are going to be asking for them you know and it kind of just steamrolls into these products be being the hottest toys because they were promoted so well by these stores um the next thing is all the black friday ads that come out 
we post a direct link to them in here. So if you subscribe to this, you don't have to go to all those other places and find them. You just click on them, it'll take you right right to that Black Friday ad. And then uh, we have the Walmart store maps. To, this will take you to directions to get the Walmart store map for your store. Every Walmart store is going to have it's going to be set up a little bit different. So you, you know, you, somebody can't post their store map. You can't look at, uh, you know, one store map for a Walmart near you. And it's going to be anything like another one because they kind of lay them out on a store by store basis. Uh, and then we have all of the Thanksgiving um, and Black Friday ads. Um, I'm sorry, Black Friday store hours here. You can see when they open, when they close on Thanksgiving as well as on Friday, the following day. Um, so it has, you know, all the stores with the, not only the opening times, the closing times, if they're open that day, if they're not, um, you know, all in one place. Um, and then the most important part, obviously, is the breakdowns. We have spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours on these, on this small section here. We take, we take the Black Friday ad, um, and then we break them down. We, we take each item um, that you see here, and we go and we, um, we go and find them on Amazon. We put it all in a spreadsheet um, so you can see um, all the exact information um, on it. The, the name of the product at the source that we got out of the ad, um, links to them at the stores, links to them on Amazon, the, the Amazon name, pictures, the picture from Amazon, the picture at the source, you know, the buy cost, how many items are in the product. The ASINs, the you know, um, the category it is on Amazon, the brand that it is on Amazon, and then you know buy box prices, profit, ROI, you know all that, the the ranks, the, and then we categorize everything into one of three categories. If it's an exact match, uh, so if we find the exact product, if the exact product's not on Amazon, which does happen, um, you know because it could be a newly created product or something exclusive to um, to Amazon. Um, then um, we mark as the closest match. Um, now, if there's no match available, which is only, I mean, a small handful, three or four or five, you know, maybe at each store, uh, you know, if there's lists that are um, huge, like the ones that are, well, JC Penney's is the only one over a thousand. It's coming in at almost 1,200 items. Um, you can see all of that. Um, Yes, I, I seen your message, Ruth. I'll, I'll, um, we'll address that in just a minute. Um, then we have no match. So we have three categories: um, exact match, closest match, no match. Um, and then uh, you know it's all there in a spreadsheet for you guys. So we have you know 162 items just at Harbor Freight. Um, you know, and as I said, um, TJ Maxx had or JC Penney's had 1,100 and something. Um, you know, what was the other one? Kohl's has over 800, you know, so this is obviously a lot of work getting, um, you know, finding all these products, And but we do it for each each store. So all these stores you see on the right are already here. These are the regular Black Friday ads. Um, Michael's and Dollar General um, are going to be done before um, Thursday morning, which is our cutoff, but um, we already have all of these other stores, CVS, Kohl's, JCPenney's, Walmart, Ace Hardware, Best Buy, Walgreens, Staples, uh, tar um, Target, Costco, Rite Aid, True Value, and Harbor Freight. Um, so those are all there, all broken down the same way I just showed you. Um, Ruth is kind of very excited to ask, um, are these lists RA or OA as well? So um, obviously every store does not have an online way to buy uh, their products, I believe. Um, CVS, Walgreens did not. I can tell you everything in the ad from Walmart and JCPenney's other than a few doorbusters are available on sale. Um, you know, Best Buy as well, theirs hasn't gone live, um, but you can check with the store for each store to see when they do go, um, do go live, Costco as well. Um, I, I don't think most of that's available, but Target is, you know, so, um, you know, if you only buy OA, this is not something that, um, you know, I would say, you know, you should pass on because um, as we just talked about, most stores are starting their OA deals early. A lot of them are on Wednesday. As we talked about, there's 21 different stores that they're lot. I mean, 
you don't really have to count, uh, you know, Amazon. Yeah, there's a lot of stores do both. Right. So, um, you know, I, there's not a simple answer to that. And, you know, um, you know, some other people may just say, oh, yeah, you can buy all that stuff online, but I'm not going to say that. There, there's a handful of items, which are usually the door busters, which we usually aren't buying for resale um, at stores like Walmart and Target that they won't have online. But um, Walmart this year, I think they're giving you like every item uh, you can buy online now. Um, so if you wanna buy online only, we have a lot of um, you know, clients and users of this product that, that aren't in the US. So, um, there's only, so yes, there's no real issues with that. If you're buying for resale, I can say almost every item you're buying for resale at most of these stores are, are available. So um, the only ones that they're not are the stores that they're, you know, um, they're not doing that. You know, if they don't have an online presence at all, like I think CVS doesn't have most of their stuff, you know, that you can buy, um, you know, online. But, you know, we're giving you the links to all the stuff so you can see what's worth buying at Amazon and then you can, um, you know, make your own decision there. Um, and you more how much bills. to buy. Um, would you recommend less units and many SKUs? Um, I always recommend that. Um, I don't want to uh, butcher your name. Mujahid, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to um, do too bad with that. But uh, yeah, um, I, I say go as wide as possible. You know, you never want to go deep on anything. And especially if you're buying online for Black Friday, um, you know, don't go crazy. There's like so much stuff, to, you know, there's always so much stuff to buy. You know, it, it bothers, you know, it really bothers me when people say, you know, um, when, um, so what exactly is deep is going to be different uh, for everybody. Um, you know, deep means when you buy a thousand of two items instead of buying and buying wide would be buying two of a thousand different items. Yeah, that's good. Buy an inch deep and a mile wide. You know, I know, you know, I work with several, you know, multi-million dollar sellers and, you know, they're buying three and four of a product. I mean, they're buying 500 different products, you know, doing OA a day, but they're still buying, um, you know, only two and three of each item. So another um, thing too is um, use Keepa. Keepa's, it's your best tool you can use right now. Right. So, yeah, I mean, Keepa is, you know, the best free tool on the market. I've always said that. Uh, I actually have a course that has, I don't know, 15 or 20 different sections that's completely free. Um, you just go to my website, seanmayo.com, uh, and create yourself a free account. Um, and, um, you know, we have a Keepa course. It's going to show you everything from, you know, seeing the products that are worth buying, you know, and I've got a video showing you, you know, how to do that in under a minute. Um, you know, and there's just so much stuff in Keepa that's, that's amazing. It's, it's really one of the greatest tools out there for Amazon sellers. And every Amazon seller should, uh, you know, know that um, very, very closely. So, um, so for how, how much to buy, you know, it depends on how much you have to spend. Um, and especially on Black Friday, most of these deals are like, you know, I want to I wanna say once in a lifetime deals, but they're probably once in a year deals at least. And, you know, so you have to make a decision. Hey, is this, is this something I should buy a hundred of or buy 10 of, um, you know, and if you're going to multiple stores, then uh, you may just want to, um, uh, you know, not buy a lot at any store. Obviously when you're checking out, most people are not going to give you any problems. Um, you know, because lots of people buying lots of stuff on that day. Um, but if you're buying online, especially at Target, and Kohl's, they do not like resellers, um, you know, for whatever reason. So, I mean, I know the reason, but um, don't buy a lot there. Buy five or something at a time, you know, um, but don't try and buy a hundred of anything from target.com. Um, what categories do I avoid? I do not avoid any categories. I don't like shoes personally because they're slow moving. Clothing and shoes is not, um, is not the best stuff for me. Um, now there is a lot of clothing that we're gonna be buying um, like pajamas and holiday stuff. And I, I kind of don't categorize that as the same. I personally don't like electronics. Um, so electronics has about a 20% return rate on the average for most clients we talk to. 
Um, you know, we stopped selling electronics a long time ago. So we're, um, we're going to avoid electronics for resale. Um, and as far as the door busters, uh, Faye asked, why not get door, door busters? Online things are not good for, for resale. Yeah, so we're buying tons of stuff online. As I've said, we've already bought stuff today. We're going to buy stuff. You know, um, the door busters are discounted computers and discounted cell phones and the TV, the stuff you see on the front page of all the Black Friday ads, the stuff you see advertised on TV where they say, oh, we have six of these in the store, 12 of them in the store. Um, we don't um, we don't buy those because they're not good items for resale. You know, um, they're big, they're bulky, they're also electronics, they're, um, you know, stuff people buy, you know, for their, you know, Christmas party and then return or for the Super Bowl and then return. Um, electronics have a huge return rate. Um, Usually and, they're not that good of products. And either. besides for that, it's not worth for us to wait in line for three hours, you know, to get something because they only have three of them per store, six per store. Um, so there's a million reasons not to buy those. But, you know, again, I mean, ignore everything I say because, um, you know, listen to what I say. But, you know, don't take anything I say or anything else, anybody else as gospel because, um, you know, I'm showing you what works for my business. And for my business, I can get a lot more profit, you know, on a limited time buying, you know, space like Black Friday by going to 10 different stores at the same time I would wait in line to buy one TV. And I mean, what are you going to make on that TV? 50 bucks, 100 bucks? It's just not worth it for us. So. Um, you know, that's what we do, but if you find that that stuff is worth it for you, or if you need a new TV in your living room, then by all means, buy those door busters. Um, um, I have no, I see no reason. I mean, I love Tactic R, which I was one of the first users, but um, I see no reason to run them through Tactic Arbitrage because we're giving you all that information. You know, you have the ROI, the 30 day, the 60 day, the 90 day, the links to Amazon, the links to Keepa, um, all that stuff. So um, unless you're trying to reverse search it to find other stores to buy it from, which personally, Definitely. I see no value in that because Black Friday is like the best prices usually of the whole year. So if you run it through TA, I doubt you're going to find another store that has it cheaper. Uh, you would find a lot of stores that probably are price matching Walmart or Target or whatever the store is to have the exact same price. Even Amazon may jump on the listings and do the same thing. But I really don't, you know, we're, we're already giving you the same information you get in TA. You, you know, you're getting all that stuff you would run it through TA for. So, um, I mean, do it if you want to, but, you know, um, the pricing and ranks and all that are, you know, very current. Um, so David wanted to know, are there any ways to buy products by the pallet? Seems a lot more work to analyze and buy, buy a small product, not for Black Friday. I mean, they're doing that to get people in the door. They don't want anybody to come in and buy the whole pallet. Most of these products you see in the ads, there's only one pallet. Of. That's why we're going to go to multiple Walmarts, multiple stuff. Now, you know, if you get an in with a, you know, a purchasing manager or, um, you know, somebody who, you know, a store manager, maybe they'll hold some stuff in the back, you know, for you. And, you know, um, you might want to tip them or, or something like that. After the fact, um, you know, I mean, we have had deals like that. Um, but, you know, we, we already know what we want. The whole point of this webinar is to teach you one thing, and, you know, and maybe sell a few copies of our, of our product. What's that, Jason? Be prepared when you go in the store. Right. It's to be prepared. So you're already, you should, don't go in that store to go shopping. There's a million people who know what they want. You know, you need to be one of them. You need to go in that store knowing what you want to buy. Um, a lot of work to analyze and buy small, uh, small quantities. So, um, you know, the, the problem is you're going to, you, and the solution is that, you know, I'm going to go in and I'm going to buy 10 or 20 or 30 of, of this, but then I'm going to go to another Walmart. I'm going to buy 10 or 20 or 30 of it again, um, you know, and that works for us. But, you know, if you're a smaller, newer seller, you might not want to buy 50 or 100 of one product that you know is going to be a good seller. Like um, Sean said, there's a million people buying all this stuff. 
but there's a right. hundred million people that are gonna that go in there and they have no idea what they're right. looking for. Right. And it's just right. people going to buy for themselves. They're not resellers. You know, there's a small percentage of them are resellers. So buying by the pallet, um, you know, those stores only have one. Uh, almost everything is just one pallet. They put one pallet of each thing out. When they're gone, they're gone. Because the whole point is the ad. The ad is to get people in. They fulfilled their promise of having that product. You know, that's why they'll say a minimum of 12. If it says a minimum of 12, it's really a maximum of 12. Um, you know, but I'm not buying that stuff. I'm not buying the electronics. I'm not buying any of that. I might be buying my wife a new TV, but, um, you know, but that's going to be it. I'm not buying those things to resell. Um, okay, so we're back to this. Yeah, David, of course. Um, I'm going to do only OA. I know I'll miss a lot, but I should be able to. Yes, OA. Um, this is the best year to do it, OA. It, it's, it's great. There's, you know, everybody has everything online, you know. Walmart, you're literally missing nothing. Target, you're not, um, you know, and you're really not going to miss miss out on very much. Um, you're going to do fine. Much stuff to get. There's just so much stuff, and there, you know, you can order more now. If you're going to buy a Target, don't don't go crazy, you know, with the quantities um, because they, you know, explicitly do not like resellers. So, um, but. You're gonna have um, you're gonna have plenty of opportunities. There's only a handful of stores who are not gonna be reseller friendly. And basically, all these breakdowns we've given you, you already know what to buy, you know when to buy it, um, you know. So um, you know, don't be don't be worried about that. I don't know where you are in your business, but no matter how much money you have to spend, uh, you'll spend it. Um, you know, we're just gonna spend as much as we can, um, and you know, everybody else is going to too. I hope so. So awesome. Um, we're like way over, or I guess we're only five minutes over. Um, that's all the questions. So if there's any other questions, um, I really hope you will join our Facebook group. It's, it's free. Um, you know, we have our free Facebook group. We do have this paid product that, you know, we spend, uh, I'm going to go with thousands of hours on, um, but, um, you know, I spent a ridiculous amount of money to be able to build all these breakdowns and build all this stuff and have a team working on it for the last couple months. So, um, if you have the money for it, get it. If you don't, you know, don't, don't spend your only money, you know, buying this product. Um, so, uh, let's see. Thank you. This is good. Um, our website is not working. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll have my developers look into that. Sorry. Um, and, um, all right. Uh, I don't want to just keep drawing it on forever. So, um, I'm going to post the link. This is to join the Facebook group. So everybody click on that and join that right now. Um, and then um, the other link I will post right here. Um, it's blackfridaypro.us. So if you go to Black Friday, um, oh, I guess I had just posted that. As, oh, wait, maybe I was just scrolling back. Um, blackfridaypro.us, that'll help you join our breakdown. And uh, the good thing about that is you get in on all of the other, uh, anytime we launch anything else, if you buy any of our products, you get usually discounted access to that before it's open to the general public. So um, you go to blackfridaypro.us, you'll get all that, um, that info as well. Um, I appreciate everybody and everybody who registered, if you showed up or not, we're gonna send you the email um, as soon as this replay is done with links to all that stuff we talked about. Lots um, of great stuff. Okay, so Faye, just as an end, won't this list oversaturate? So um, all we're doing is breaking down the, the list into a spreadsheet so you don't have to spend dozens of hours doing it yourself. So um, it's not a list of stuff to buy. It's a list of everything for Black Friday. Um, so literally anybody could do this themselves. Um, you know, so it's not like a point of, you know, saturation here. We're not giving you a sourcing list. We're just doing all those thousands of hours of work um, for you so you don't have to do it yourself. Um, when we do have sourcing lists, which we do, um, we just, uh, we do limit those, but this isn't that kind of product. So, all right, we'll see you guys later and um, have a good night and, you know, an awesome Black Friday. 
Um, and we're probably going to be streaming live when we're outsourcing as well. So if you want to join that Facebook group, you can um, you can see that. Um, have a good night. Good night.